Right, you're all live. Go ahead. Who's doing our first presentation? Is it Sunny? Me. Paula, you're muted. Now I'm not. Okay. Okay, okay Sunny. Make you spotlighted. Are you ready to go? I am ready to go. All right, let's hope this works. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's still morning. Good morning, everyone. At least here in Vancouver, it's still morning. Okay, so my name is Sunny, and I am a member of the Tikkun Alum Gogos. And the picture that you're seeing on your screen right now is the homepage for our website. And that is where you'll go to actually purchase any of the products that we show you and talk about this morning. And we will put the um, link to the website in um, the chat so that you can find it at any time. As you can see on the picture, there are many African grandmothers in the picture. So, and it, we, we um, the purpose for our being really is to support the grandmother's campaign of the Stephen Lewis Foundation. Um, this is um, created the idea of being Canadian grandmothers supporting the grandmothers in Africa who are raising their orphaned grandchildren as a result of the AIDS pandemic. And of course, now these grandmothers are coping with the COVID-19 pandemic as well. And they've been left to raise their grandchildren. And the Stephen Lewis Foundation started the grandmothers campaign as a means of helping to uh, support these grandmothers through grassroots um, projects that they themselves help design to help them feed and clothe and house and educate their grandchildren and themselves and to make a better life for themselves. This is one of the projects that we did a few years ago where we were able to have paddles that were no longer being used um, designed and decorated by various local artists. And then we were able to sell those and the proceeds would go to the Stephen Lewis Foundation's grandmother's campaign. All of the proceeds of the things that we do go to the grandmother's campaign. And then they help fund these community-based grassroots uh, projects and organizations in 15 sub-Saharan countries. And again, on this slide, you can see the, um, well, it did show our uh, website address, but it is in the chat. Okay, so here's a picture of some of us at work. The main thing that we do to raise money is to make tote bags and now zippered pouches and drawstring pouches and masks that we sell. Um, and again, the proceeds go to the grandmother's campaign. We usually sell them at craft fairs, but of course we don't have craft fairs now. So here's pictures of some of us working. We have kind of a production line. Everybody has their task and we put together kits and those of us that sew then take them home and put together the final bags. On the lower right, you can see someone is sewing. It's a black mesh. So the black mesh is the basic structure of the tote bags that we're going to be looking at first on these slides. And here's an array of the tote bags for you to see how really beautiful they are. The black mesh is covered by beautiful fabrics that we source from wherever we can. They're cotton, they're easy to clean, and the tote bags um, have lots and lots of uses and are very, very um, they last forever. That's maybe that's not so good because you, people will say, I'd like another one that I can't because I still have the one that I bought initially. They make wonderful gifts um, for our, yourself or for someone else. And when you buy one, then you are helping to support the grandmothers in Sub Saharan Africa as well. So it's more, it's a double gift in that sense. And here's a picture of someone carrying one of the tote bags. Now in the picture before the tote bags were hanging and they looked flat, but they do open up at the bottom and there is a piece of, of heavy plastic that you sit into the bottom of the bag and then it opens it up like this. And then if you put it down on the ground, it stays open 
and it doesn't, and because it's nice and sturdy, you can carry anything in this bag and it's not gonna fall out the bottom. The bag itself is about 12 by 18 inches and they cost $45, no tax, plus shipping. We ship into Canada and the US. They have on the inside of the plastic mesh, we've put three pockets, a large pocket and two smaller ones. So you can put your keys, your credit card, some cash, whatever, your wallet, whatever it is that you wanna be carrying along with whatever else you're using the tote bag for. And there's a metal clasp at the top to close them. Here you can see someone is using theirs to carry their knitting. We do, as I said, we usually sell at craft fairs and here's one of our displays from a, a, a craft fair with the large totes on the top and then the little drawstring pouches that we'll be talking about later on the bottom. And you can just see all the different colors and designs that they are. We're also making masks now. So our masks are non-medical grade but they're constructed of two layers of high thread count, 100% cotton. They have a pocket to hold a replaceable filter and they come with a starter kit of extra filters. And they also come with instructions on how to use and care for them. They are made with ear elastics and a nose bridge so they can have a snug fit. They're washable by hand or by machine and can be hung or tumble dried and you can iron them if you wish. I think the ones where we're showing now are probably adult size, but we do have some for children as well. And the children sized ones have adjustable ear elastics. And you can see, again, there are all kinds of beautiful fabrics and designs. We'll talk about them again in a few minutes as well. Now we're gonna be looking at some of the totes we have for sale. If you go onto our website, you will see that there are more than the ones that we're showing in these slides. Um, but we have numbered the ones showing in the slides so that if you see one that you really love, it'll be easier for you to find it on the website. We source all kinds of different fabrics and designs. And these are some of the popular, more metallic looking ones. And you can see that we trim them with braid in some cases or beads in some cases. And in some cases, the beads are hand strung so that they're actually done by people in our group to match the fabrics themselves. So here's some more metallic looking ones. And again, the one on the right looks like it has hand-strung beads. Lots of different choices. So the one on the right has a sold sign on it. That means that that bag that was taken, the picture that was taken of that bag, that bag is sold. But there may be other bags with the same fabric that might have a different trim. Maybe there is one with beads or a different color fabric at the top. So just because that one is sold doesn't mean that that fabric is not still available in a tote bag. And these are African themed ones. I'm listening to our Gogos. So and I'll phone you back when they're finished. If everybody could put themselves on mute, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Now, as we're going through this presentation, you might come in later. And if you come in later, don't worry, we're gonna be repeating this several times. So you can just stay on and get to see the whole presentation again, um, if there's something that you think that you might've missed. So here is the bag. I love this bag because it's the little sheep knitting themselves. And uh, you can see someone is using this bag to hold fabric and knitting materials. And on the bottom, you can see one of the drawstring uh, pouches that has a sewing theme. So more little sheep knitting for the knitters in the group. And again, this is to show how you can have the same fabric, but it can look a bit different and depending on what trim we use and whether it's got braid or beads. But we don't always do only things for knitters. We do bags for all different kinds of people. And they come in all different colors. 
The one on the right is a musical note theme. And we have quite a few musical bags. We seem to have a lot of people who like our bags who are into music. So you can carry your music or a small instrument or books or whatever it is in your bag. And you can see that even though these are all music themed, they're all quite different. It would, might appeal to people of all kinds of different tastes. The one on the right is the zebra, the, an African animal themed bag on that beautiful blue background. Now this is just to show you, here's um, a dragonfly bag. We have other different uh, dragonfly bags. Dragonflies seem to be very, very popular. And just to show you, there is one of the zippered pouches we're gonna be talking about in a few minutes. Can you go back? Oops. Yeah, and there is a mask that's there as well. So if you wanted to color coordinate, you could probably find a way to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so these are African themed, African animal themed ones. I think they're very beautiful and elegant. And of course, all the different colors. And different themes. I like the butterflies a lot. Now I have three bags, one for knitting, one that I took to the gym when I went to the gym and one that um, I use for everything when I need a bag, which is a lot of the time. And I find that I've had mine for years and they do not look even the least bit worn and I've washed them off. So they're really sturdy. One thing you can also do because they fold so flat, if you're going on holiday, when we get to travel again, they fit flat in your suitcase so they don't take up any room. And then you can use them on the other end as a beach bag. Now these fabrics are really beautiful. At least to me, they're really, really beautiful. These are batiks. One of our members went to Bali and she found the fabric store and brought back beautiful batik fabrics that we turned into bags. And if you have a favorite pet, then you might like a doggy bag. Now here again are some of the bags just showing them what they look like when they're open. And again, all the different themes. So if you like cats, you might want one that's like the one that's on the left. And if you like dogs, you might want one that's like the one on the right. And then more dragonflies. Again, we have other fabrics other than the yellow. They have come in red and blue and green and purple and pink. Again, they are $45, no tax, plus shipping. Now, if you live in Vancouver, you don't have to pay a shipping cost. You can arrange to come and pick up a bag. So in this picture, you can, again, see someone carrying their bag to get a, more of an idea of what 12 by 18 looks like. You can see someone's carrying a lot of children's books. And the one on the top looks like someone off to the beach with handmade beads. Um, Taking them to the beach really works well because if you get sand and everything in there, all you do is take everything out, take out the bottom plastic and give it a good shake. And because it's plastic mesh, all the sand is gone. So they make a wonderful beach bag. So here's some theme for students or librarian types book people. more animals and Asian theme bags. Again, if you're noting the numbers, you might find it easier to find them on the website. And the address for the website is on, is uh, in the chat. I really like the flowered one on the right, on the left, excuse me. I like the one on the right too, but the one on the left particularly appeals to me. And if you're a gardener, you might really be happy with the one on the right. As I said, they make wonderful gifts for yourself or for someone. And when you buy one, then it's a gift not only to the person you're buying it for, but also to the grandmothers in Africa who are raising their orphan grandchildren. I love the one, on the, if we go back one, that one with the shoes, I had a friend who loved shoes. That bag would have been the, a great bag for her. We also have fruits and vegetables like the peppers in the one before. And of course, 
And then there's the mermaids on the one on the left here. So there is something for everyone. Now we're gonna talk about our zippered pouches. The zippered pouches, each one is different because they each have, you can see a toggle that is on the zipper as the zipper pull and every one of the toggles is different. The fabric is um, a heavy cotton upholstery fabric and they come with a strap that you can use as a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap or just around your neck. And the strap is adjustable. So whatever size you are, the zippered pouch will work for you. And here you can see someone using it as a shoulder strap. And they come in lots of beautiful, beautiful fabrics with their beautiful special toggles. Some of them are really so beautiful that you could use them as an evening bag. They have a pouch in the back where you can put your phone or your sunglasses. And that logo you see is the grandmother's campaign logo. Again, more colors, everyone beautiful and different. Again, if you see one that you really like, write down the number so you can find it easier on our website. The cost is $30 for one uh, zippered pouch, and that includes the shipping. But again, if you live in Vancouver, you can arrange to pick it up. So this picture shows how somebody can use theirs. They put their credit card in, some cash, a lipstick, a comb, and their phone. I have one that I use um, whenever I go out walking, I put my phone in it. If I think I'm gonna need it, I put in credit cards, money, Kleenex, I'm big on Kleenex. And they are incredibly sturdy. I, I'm not the gal who went to Bali who bought fabrics, but I was in Bali and I ended up being swept into the Indian Ocean wearing my bag. And it came out full, you know, soaking wet, full of sand. I rinsed it out, you know, let the sand dry and it all came out. And my bag looks as good as new. You would never know that it had an experience like that. Fortunately, I don't look like I had an experience like that either. Anyway, more toggles, more fabrics. And again, there are more on the website and they again are $30 and that includes the shipping or you can pick them up. And here again, you can see one with a, with a mask, um, one with sunglasses, somebody uses theirs for sunglasses in the back. And this one is next to um, our drawstring pouch. Now, I didn't tell you the size actually of our zippered pouches. They're about five inches by eight inches. Now here's a bunch of our pouches. The pouches, the drawstring pouches are about six inches by seven inches and they are made from the scraps and remnants from when we make the totes. So we don't wanna waste anything and the fabrics are so beautiful of course, we would not want them to go to waste. And each of the zippered pouches um, is lined. You can see a little bit here, but you'll see more later on how beautifully lined they are with contrasting fabrics. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can find um, a drawstring pouch that matches your tote, that matches a tote. And if you find that, they, then it makes a great gift together, of course. Um, this person is using theirs, the one on the left for, for their, um, chargers and cords and ear, um, earbuds and everything for their phone or for their appliances or devices, I guess is the word we use. And here, this shows when the variety of fabrics and again, how beautifully lined they are and the lining, it's, they're completely lined. And I have one of these that I have my cosmetics in that I carry in my purse. And when I think it needs to be washed, I throw it in the washing machine and it comes out looking in the dryer and it comes out looking absolutely perfect, brand new. These are really great for when you are giving gifts to people, you can put the gift in the little pouch and then you're giving really two gifts, the pouch as the, as the wrapping as it were. Here's somebody using theirs for their Scrabble pieces. More of the beautiful, um, dragonfly fabrics, and they've been very popular, more African themed ones. You can buy, if you're giving someone a hostess gift, you can put chocolates in, you can put the little soap or the little jar of jam or honey that you're giving. And uh, 
yeah, and it makes a really wonderful way to give a gift. The pouches are three for $30 and that includes shipping. Again, there is no tax. And again, if you're in Vancouver and wanna pick them up, then we can arrange for that. These are three pouches for someone who might um, wanna use them for their cannabis if they're a cannabis user. So here's just an array of the things that we're selling on our website. Doesn't have masks on it, but it shows the, the uh, drawstring pouches, the zippered pouches and the totes. And here's a group of us. The last craft fair we did was during the summer. Here we are in our masks where we were following all the procedures we were required to follow when we did this craft fair. And you can see the different things that we were selling on display. And that's my part of the presentation. If you have any more questions, please put them into the chat. Well done, Sunny. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Are there any questions that people are asking? Who's going to be our next presenter? I am, Maggie. I think we, we want to take a little bit of time, but I'll, I'll make you, I'll turn you into the speaker thing when, when we're ready to do that. Sure. I'm sorry for that one glitch, uh, Sunny. I pressed my space bar to make sure I was muted and that's when the slides moved. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> I think everyone could see and follow. So I think we did well. How many people have we got? We've got 50 people on right at the moment, folks. Oh, great. Excellent. Everybody muted, that's great. So we will just wait a minute and then go on to our next. Uh... I think we should go right to it now. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'll put you on spotlight. Mm -hmm. We've had a question about the size of the tote. Pat, Maggie, do you want to address that? Sure, sure, I will. It, uh, they are 12 by 18. And they have three pockets inside. One is big enough for uh, a cell phone and you know, that size thing. And, and the other two are smaller for keys, lipsticks, that, that kind of thing. So 12 by 18. Hey ladies, can I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Okay, I bought this bag last time. Oh. It's a top bag. Look at this, she... Anyways, this is perfect for sweater bag. I have um, the pattern. Uh, my sweater in progress. Mm. Mm. And then all the yarns I need. And I have my notion bag inside. Oh. And lots of room. I just want to show everybody and there's a you can probably see it there's a pocket inside so you can put notions in there too it's a really good size for sweater project okay thank you that's great thank you Maggie you will go to you and could you mention our bingo word please I certainly can our bingo word is support support okay I'm going to our share now Somebody asked if there was a zippered closure on the, uh, I, I imagine that the large totes. There isn't, there is a magnetic closure, which actually is quite effective at keeping stuff in and hands you don't want out. Okay, whenever you're ready, Maggie. Okay, well, hi everybody. And thanks so much for joining us today. We're really happy to see you. Um, we are Tikkun Olam Gogos. My name is Maggie. I'm a member of this group. Um, here you see our, our, the front page of our, of our website, which is tikkunolamgogos.org. Uh, mark that down and you'll notice the shop button when you go to our, our page, our web page. Press on shop if you see something you want to buy or have a look at what else we've got. Um, press contact too, should you want to hear about other events that we're going to be at. And as time goes on, we hope we'll be having in-person markets and uh, all sorts of different kinds of events. So we are 
uh, one of 200 groups across Canada, and I think there are some in the UK and elsewhere, who partner with groups of grandmothers in Sub-Saharan Africa who are raising their AIDS orphan grandchildren. Here we are at uh, another fundraiser we had, which had to do with uh, dragon boat paddles that, were, that we then had different artists paint on. They're quite beautiful. And um, I think we did quite well for, for the African projects. So here's a note about what we are and what we're doing. Uh, we are supporting grandmothers and in community organizations, they're community-based grassroots organizations across Sub-Saharan Africa, the 15 countries there. There's our website information. So you're gonna be, as we show you our marketplace, you'll be seeing numbers of bags. And if you jot, jot down the ones you like, you'll find them on the webpage and you'll find more as well. Here are Joyce and Wendy working at one of our one of our work work bees, which we we had in the days that when we could get together, where each of us would take on different parts of the project of of getting the fabric ready for for the bags. The large totes are cotton, 100% cotton, beautiful fabrics I, I have never seen before. Um, on mesh, you'll see in the lower right hand corner the mesh that's being worked on. They're 12 by 18, as I mentioned before, that's inches. So they're quite big. Um, there is a hard plastic bottom in them, uh, which will open them up to be very roomy inside. You can, as, as, as uh, our friends said, you can carry a sweater you're working on. You can carry all sorts of stuff and you can go shopping and put all your gross, half your groceries in them as well. Here's an array of our bags. By the way, Tikkun Olam Gogos, you probably want to know, tikkun olam is a Hebrew uh, phrase which means repair of the world. And gogo is a South African Zulu word for grandmothers. So tikkun olam gogos, together we are grandmothers and grandothers, not everybody has grandchildren yet, um, who are working together to make the world a better place for our grandchildren and their, their children. Here you'll see a bag that's opened up and hanging from somebody's shoulder. And one of the things I wanna mention is, seems like no matter how tall you are, they always hang at the right place. They're very, very comfortable to wear. And here's one with knitting inside. Uh, it's lying flat. So you can take that hard plastic bottom out and just lay it flat. And uh, they're very easy to pack um, for when we travel again. Here's a display from one of our marketplaces. Um, the large totes are on top and the smaller drawstring pouches are below. Uh, we'll be showing them as well. And here are our masks, a newer item, of course. Um, these are uh, very nice masks, of course, not medical grade, but they are two layers of um, high density cotton uh, and uh, a little sack of, of um, filters to put inside one of the pockets. They also come in children's sizes. Uh, they're fully washable, of course. And um, they're a very well-fitting mask, a very useful mask. And here we are, our totes, and you'll see the numbers. Um, they correspond to left and right in, on each slide. We have a lot of themes. These ones are black with metallic um, patterns on them in gold and silver. And, and you'll see that they have trim at the top, which might be a braid as in the one on the left or a bead as in the one on the right. And some of our beads are actually hand strung by our members uh, to correspond with the fabric. So they're pretty spectacular. Uh, you'll see sold signs on some of them, and that means that that particular bag is sold. But there may be another one in basically the same fabric with perhaps a different braid or a different corresponding fabric on top. So ask in our chat line if you like that one, and um, we'll let you know if there's another one that's, that's very similar. I mentioned the pockets inside that are very handy because these are big roomy things and it's easy to lose stuff in them. But the pockets, one, the big one will hold a cell phone, a notebook, 
Um, the small ones will hold keys and lipstick. This is our African themed uh, fabric, a couple of different examples of that. Um, they have been very popular. And another one of those on the left and then on the right, we're getting into our, our floral patterns, which are real eye poppers as well. They're great. And here we are showing how, how useful the bag is for people who sew or knit and a little drawstring pouch on the bottom for sewers or knitters. Yeah, we've got these themes here specifically for, for knitters. Um, uh, and you'll see sheep knitting themselves into sweaters and all sorts of, of delightful whimsical little designs and in different colors. Here the sheep are actual balls of wool. Yeah, and, and some very, very attractive different patterns and colors that really suit just about everybody. They make wonderful gifts and uh, there's nothing wrong with having more than one. And I say that because they are very durable as well as useful and beautiful. And they last a long time. So uh, you might want to have, say, one for when you're going to uh, one of your choir concerts. There's a musical bag on the right and another one that, uh, for shopping. Who knows? And another one for your knitting. And there's, there's your musical theme again. A lot of different musical theme ones. Over the years, some of our fundraisers have been having choirs come and sing for us. And uh, choir members have been big, big users of our musical theme bags. And I love our zebras on the, the blue background, very eye popping. Oh, I see a note in chat that we sold a few thousand totes. That's a lot. Here's a dragonfly theme. We have several others of that. Dragonflies seem to be very popular. And here you'll see in, inside the tote, one of our zipper pouches, which we'll be showing you in a moment, and a mask. And here's African animals theme. And very brightly colored theme. And we're starting here with one of our Asian themes in the butterflies. They're quite lovely. Those are beautiful fabrics. On the left, you'll see that. And Oh, this is, these are Asian themed. Uh, yeah, oh, these are our batiks, um, which uh, one of our members went to Bali and bought a whole bunch of batik fabric. And they are very lovely and in different colors and different, different themes as well. Animals, butterflies. I, I've got this bag. This is a real eye popper, the giraffes. It's got a different trim on it, but uh, it's, it's a beautiful bag. I actually went to Africa to visit my daughter who was living there and I bought her a giraffe bag because both of us kind of fell in love with giraffes. And dogs and cats. And there's some more dragonflies. I find the bag on the right particularly elegant. Waves in green and black. And here we see the bags in use. Uh, you'll see somebody using it as a beach bag. Um, I haven't done that, but I hear they're really great as beach bags because you just, you know, if you get sand in them, you just take the hard plastic piece out from the bottom and shake it out and uh, you're, you're, you're good to go again. And as a book bag, and as a marketing bag. And for our librarians and teachers. Particularly beautiful bags there, Asian and African animals. And our beautiful florals. If, you, if you're a gardener or you have a friend who's a gardener, that one on the right is a wonderful idea. Shoes on the right and then peppers on the left. I find peppers very whimsical and, and they're lovely. I, I, they're just fun. And here we are with our, our zippered pouches 
These are five by eight. The, the base of them is also mesh, but they're upholstery fabric, a very heavy fat fabric on top with a matching um, bead toggle, which is totally, and everyone is unique. There are no two uh, of a kind. So, so if you see one you like, jot down the number and go to our website quickly, because <laughs> it won't be there if somebody else likes it as well. You'll see that they have a, a, a thin strap, which is adjustable, and they can be worn from the shoulder or across your body or even hung from your neck like a, like a necklace. And there are many different colors and patterns. There's a big pocket in the back, which is big enough for a cell phone or a passport or a pair of sunglasses. And that logo on the back is the grandmother's campaign logo. And you'll see them being worn as well. Again, different colors and patterns. They really are very, very eye-popping, these, these, these little pouches. And they're very useful. You can wear them when you go jogging or walking the dog or meeting your friend for lunch. You can use them as an evening bag. They're really, some of them are, are well, I think most of them are so attractive that, that they, they work for a lot of different things. And you can fit enough in them. They're five by eight, as I mentioned. Here's an example of everything you can put in them. There's a little pocket in the zipper part, which is big enough for your credit card and your driver's license. So you can see neutral colors and reds and there are blues, yeah. Here you see them displayed with other items like a, a mask and uh, holding sunglasses, as I mentioned, and uh, how much they can hold, yeah. These make a great gift. And these are $30 each. I hope I mentioned the totes are $45 each. That's Canadian. And uh, you, there is a shipping cost for the large totes. For these, the shipping is free, $30. And that's it. Uh, here is one shown with one of our drawstring pouches. Great prints, both of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, I'm stuck here. Okay. Well, this is a nice picture to get stuck on. <laughs> I think these are lovely looking <laughs> totes and pouches. Sorry, I'm going to pause the share for a minute. Sure. Um, it's not letting me move the... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Well, it's frustrating. We really want to show you more of our... I think our zipper pouch show may be over. And you've seen our large totes, but there are a whole lot of uh, these drawstring pouches. And I don't know why. We'd like to show you. Paula, do you want to make uh, me the host and I can, uh, not the host, but you just let me share my screen and I can show the um, slideshow. It's not letting me. Okay. Sorry, I think I've got to go out of the share. I don't know why. I don't know what is happening. Okay, we may have to go blank here for a moment. Okay, Alicia, I met your co-host. Okay, okay, I'll pick up the slideshow okay. then. And... If you can do it. I don't know what's happened. It's just not letting me do it. Thanks, Erica. Yeah. Alicia? I'll get to the point you were at. I don't know what's jam something's jammed. Hmm. I'm just whoops. Sorry. Okay, this is where you were. Yes. Have you got it? And now I see me, but I don't see the slideshow. Is that you doing that now, Alicia? Because now it's now letting me move it as well. Oh well then if you're then go ahead and you keep doing it. Let's see or shall it. I? Here we are. Okay, well, let, well, just keep doing it, Alicia, for now, and we'll see what happens with round three. You keep going. Okay. 
That's great. Larry. Ah, wonderful. Ah, so great. Technology doesn't always work. It has been a gift <laughs> and it's been a real frustration. Thank you folks for working with it. Okay, uh, these are our, our, our drawstring pouches. And the neat thing about them is they're actually made from remnants of the large tote fabrics. Uh, there's no mesh involved in these, they're just cotton. Uh, you'll see how beautiful the fabrics are, but they're the same beautiful fabrics, a lot of them as we have in our large totes. So you may find a matching one as well in a number of cases. Uh, and they have beautiful lining, which contrasts. And they are so nicely made, I, I just love them. So you'll see that they'll hold your charging cables and your earphones and your, a ball of wool and, uh, and, and they make great little gift bags. And so we're showing them in groups of three and you can buy three for $30, uh, shipping is free, and you can just hang on to them and, until you need a, a hostess gift, let's say, and then you, you, you take your little pouch and you fill it with chocolates or um, a bar of soap or a jar of jam and bring it to your friend. And you'll see the many uses of it. They're six by seven, they're quite, they're, they're small, just a nice little gift bag, beautifully made. Here's our dragonflies and our African themes. and our classical, sophisticated themes, the black and the gold and silver on them. And some more foresty themes, including the forest of cannabis for people who might be using them for, for those purposes. And here's a display of the zipper pouches on the lower left and the, in the middle on the top, there are the large totes. And on the right are our uh, drawstring pouches. I don't know if I mentioned, I just wanna go over the costs. So the drawstring pouches are three for $30, shipping is free. The large totes are $45 Canadian and shipping is not included. You have to pay for shipping. And of course, if you live in Vancouver, you can make arrangements to pick them up. So there's no shipping. And the zippered totes, the zippered pouches on the right there are uh, $30 each and shipping is free. The masks, also shipping is free, they're $10 each, and they come in regular size and children's sizes in many different patterns. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, please, please go to our website and uh, be sure to sign up if you want to be contacted for further events that we have. Thank you. Now, Alicia, do you want to put me back on and hope that it's going to work for the next round? Uh, or Eureka will put you back on, I think. I do not know how that. How I that... don't know what happened either, but let me see. Paula, Paula you're still co-host. You can try it if you like. Yeah, that's never, ever happened that. Um... Let's just see. It just, it just locked on me. Hmm. Just going back to the beginning for the next one. Mm. All right. So we're going to go to um, Marie in a second. I'm just going to stop the share for a minute here. Marie, I will make you the spotlight person. Okay. And if it doesn't, if the same thing happens again, I'll shriek and help. Hope Eureka can help us. <laughs> that was great, Maggie. Maggie still seems to be in there. Okay, there's your show. Ready to go? Whenever you are, yep. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Marie Henry, and I'm a member of the T. Kunalam Gogos in Vancouver. Uh, one of over 200 groups across Canada and around the world. Right now, you're looking at the Tikkun Alam Gogo's homepage on our website, which you can get the address from the, from the chat. We partner with groups of grandmothers and grandothers in sub-Saharan Africa who are raising the millions of children who have been orphaned by the AIDS pandemic and now also from the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Welcome to our online market of some of the products that we make and all of the proceeds go to the Stephen Lewis Foundation, which supports the many grassroots projects that the communities of our African sisters have organized. Since you are mute, remember that you can ask a question through our chat line. And today we're going to be showcasing some of our products. Here you see one of our recent events. Uh, it was a one only event of uh, beautiful hand painted paddles that were being auctioned off. But today we're going to feature our products that we sew all year round. There are signature go-go tote bags and later on you'll see zippered pouches and masks. And be sure to go to our website tikunalamgogos.org to see all of our products and place your order. The address is in the chat. So as I mentioned, we're a volunteer group. Uh, we, Tikkun Olam means repair the world in Hebrew and gogo is a Zulu word for grandmother. So in Africa and here in Canada, we are grandmothers and grandothers doing what we can to make the world a better place for our grandchildren and their grandchildren. Here you see some of our team members as they create our products. We have a lot of fun doing this together. We're going to show you an assortment of our tote bags and you will see numbers beneath the pictures that identify them in case you see one that you want to buy through the chat or on our website. The, the signature tote bags, they were just originally designed by a GoGo -Go member in Saskatchewan and we literally have sold thousands of these bags right across Canada. You've probably seen them around and didn't realize where they came from. Here's some of our workers creating the, the, the go go bags in a workshop that we have. Our signature tote bags measure about 12 by 18 inches. They have sturdy straps and three interior pockets large enough for your phone or whatever you wish. The tote bags are made of a, a heavy mesh that makes them quite sturdy and then decorated with 100% cotton. They have a magnetic clasp at the top to keep them closed. Some are trimmed with beads, many hands strung by our members, but some have a matching braid, your choice. They are beautiful, durable, useful, and come in a big variety of colors. Right now you're looking at an assortment of them folded flat, but here's one that is hanging on somebody's shoulder. As you can see, it easily opens up so that the gusset, um, you put a hard bottom in the bo on the bottom of the bag and that get, makes it sturdy and it can hold anything. For years, I, I used my tote bag to carry my laptop, my lunch, uh, my wallet and a whole bunch of other things inside the bag. For seven years, I carried that same bag to work every day. When I retired, I decided I deserved a new one. <laughs> I got tired of looking at it. The cost of these tote bags is $45 Canadian plus shipping. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Once again, you're looking at one that's been flattened. Uh, the hard plastic bottom is, has been laid flat inside the bag so you can uh, open it up when you need to. This is one of our favorite themes. A lot of knitters love our bags for knitting. My sister, who always has three or four projects on the go, will have three or four different bags, each one with a different project in it. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> These tote bags make wonderful gifts for the family and friends. And inside every tote is a brochure telling the recipient about the Stephen Lewis Foundation and the grandmother's campaign that supports it. That's us. We're the Tikkun Olam Gogos supporting the grandmother's campaign. We have a wide variety of fabrics and designs and you'll see different themes as we show you a few. The totes are numbered so that if you see one that appeals to you, you can take a note of the number and ask in the chat if it can be reserved for you. Here you see a variety of our products, including the masks and some pouches, which I'll talk about later. So now we're going to scroll through the different tote bags that are available. Once again, they're all flat, so we could photograph them. There are, I'm not gonna talk about each frame, but as I mentioned, the, their numbers are at the bottom, but you'll see a lot of different themes, colors, designs, there is something to please everybody. Uh, to be honest, most people tend to end up buying two or three because they use them for different purposes and they love the, all the different designs. Um, I'm never really sure what some of these designs are. Some of them are a bit modern looking, They're sophisticated black and whites, African themed, very popular. 
They make wonderful beach bags too. Once again, lots of different uh, designs for knitting, mostly featuring sheep. <laughs> and that one's got a little pouch with it, with a sewing theme to it. I love these sheep because there is one in particular where you can see sheep knitting the wool off of another sheep. I'm not sure how to feel about that. It sounds a bit cannibalistic actually. <laughs> As I said, they make wonderful beach bags because if you take them to the beach, um, they can, the sand that gets in, inevitably gets into a bag can fall out the bottom of the mesh. My philosophy is sand should stay at the beach. <laughs> Greens, purples. As I mentioned, they make wonderful work bags. They also make a wonderful market bag to go to, you know, shopping at the market. Uh, we're all into recycling these days. Nobody wants to keep taking plastic bags. As I mentioned, we have thousands across Canada. Music themes are popular. Uh, I belong to a choir. I keep all my choir books in the, my bag so that when it's time for my practice, I just grab that one bag and I never leave anything at home. It's all right there. Although occasionally I forget my water bottle. <laughs> Black and white themes are popular. Also, you know, you're going to see some dog and cat bags coming up. Um, people who have pets seem to love those. If you have a specific cotton fabric that you want to see turned into a bag, try us. Some of our sewers are pretty inventive. They could probably help you. Now, here's a dragonfly bag. Along with maple leaves, this seems to be a Canadian icon for some reason. Everybody loves our dragonfly bags and they come in different colors, um, different designs, but we sell a lot of them. This one is holding a mask and also one of our zippered pouches that I'm going to talk about soon too. Um, just to show you all the different things you can carry. African cats are popular. I like the colors of them. And speaking of colors, how about red? I just love these red and black bags. They really make a statement. Asian themes are popular. We have several Asian themed bags. Oh, look at this red one. That is a beautiful colored bag. Some of these bags are one of a kind, but if you see a sold sign on a bag, that doesn't mean that we might not have another one with maybe just a different trim or, or a topping on it. Here's the dogs and cats, butterflies. Here's a very elegant bag, giraffes, incorporating the African theme again and a couple of music bags in the background. Cats and dogs. There's a, there's a dragonfly bag in a different color. This one's in yellow. I've seen them in purples and greens and blues. And here's a picture where you can see in the top left-hand corner, somebody's using it for the beach bag with the shoes, with the sand falling out the bottom, of course, and the towel. These bags make wonderful book bags. Uh, if you're carrying several bags, sorry, books around at the same time. And once again, you can see somebody holding it over her shoulder with the bottom pushed down and it's probably full of everything she needs to cart around for the day. Why is it as women, we always seem to be carting things around. <laughs> book bags. Teachers love these. We were invited to be part of a librarian's conference recently because a lot of the librarians were using them as book bags. More butterflies, Asian themes, African themes, beautiful color choices. I guarantee you'll find something you like. Spring bags, colorful flowers, once again, they're $45 each, and there is a small shipping charge on them. If you're buying from the States, uh, you'll find that your, your currency exchange will pay for the shipping probably. That's a shoe themed bag down there. Hard to tell because the picture's a little bit smaller, but great shoe bag. And that brings us to the end of our totes. And I'm now gonna talk to you about our zippered pouches. 
And as I mentioned, our tote bags were designed in Saskatchewan, but this little zippered pouch was designed here in British Columbia. We were a bit weary of it at first, and it has turned out to be one of our biggest sellers. Everybody loves these. Um, before I move on, though, I just want to tell everybody uh, that our bingo word is support. Here are the popular zipper pouches, which are enjoyed by everyone. When you go out and just need a few essentials to take with you, take a zippered pouch for the evening to walk the dog or lunch with friends. Um, they're made of beautiful upholstery fabric on a mesh backing and they measure about five by eight inches. They have an adjustable strap which can be worn diagonally across the body or just on your shoulder. They have a back pocket for a cell phone or a passport. Also, there's a zippered pocket in the front with room for a credit card, cash or keys. And the zipper pull has been artistically created, uh, a bead configuration attached, which makes your bag look really elegant. There are no two alike. Their cost is $30 Canadian. Shipping is free for zippered pouches. And once they make, uh, once again, they make wonderful gifts. If you're in the Vancouver area, you can pick up your order for free, of course. You'll see on the back here, they've been uh, where you can see somebody's cell phone peeking out. There's a, um, our logo for the grandmother's campaign that supports the Stephen Lewis Foundation. The thing that I like about them best is that they can keep that small amount of things close to you. Remember when we used to travel? I lost my passport once because I had nowhere to keep it handy. And I ended up leaving it sitting on the airplane, a disaster you never want to go through. With this zipper pouch, you can keep it around your neck close to you so that you can pull everything out just as you need it and then put it back quickly and keep it safe close to your body. As you can see here, a cell phone, money, cash, lipstick, probably a package of tissues, just those few essentials that you must have that keeps you close without carrying a big purse. It is so wonderfully handy. Lots of different colors and choices. Once again, no two are alike, $30 a piece, no shipping charge. This one has got a, a mask uh, going with it. E once again, easily tucked inside the zippered pouch. Sunglasses. Some beautiful fabrics. And this, this is my favorite. I love those colors, these dark autumn colors. They're just my style. But everybody finds something that appeals to them. And very quickly, because uh, we're running out of time, our drawstring pouches. These handy little pouches are sold are uh, six and a half by seven inches and their uses are endless. As you can see from the pictures, they can store lots of different things from cable cords to batteries to scrabble tiles. Find a trio that appeals to you. There are more choices on our website or indicate in the chat if you see a trio that you like being displayed. We know that once you have one, you'll come back for more. Three for $30, the shipping is free, or you can pick them up. <coughs> the best, once upon a time, a Canadian club bag was the, was the standard for storing your Scrabble tiles. It's rapidly becoming one of our little pouches. <laughs> make wonderful gifts. Find a trio that appeals to you. They make great hostess gifts. You can put a small gift inside it, give it to the host. The bag is recyclable. If she doesn't keep it for herself, she'll end up giving it to somebody else with another gift in it. Some people are using these to store their cannabis. Lastly, um, here's a display of our products, the totes, the zippered pouches, and the small drawstring pouches. Uh, we do have a wonderful assortment of masks. Um, they come in three, the three layer style. It's removable inserts. You can see some of them on our staff here when we were having our last open air craft fair. You can find all of our products on our website and the, um, at that same place, you can sign up for our email list if you wish to be notified of our upcoming events and where you can find us again. And our masks, once again, the three layer kind that are most recommended with a, a removable insert, pay, a place for a removable insert. Uh, we have children's sizes, we have flexible ear straps and they're washable and dryable made of 100% cotton. 
I think that's pretty much everything. So if you want to ask a question, you can unmute yourself. Otherwise. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, once, Marie. Once again, in case anybody missed it, our bingo word is support. I think we're done. <laughs> Eureka, thank you again for organizing this and keeping it running so smoothly. Thank you so much, ladies. That was really good. I love the choices of your fabrics. They're beautiful. I like I, I love like learning like this is actually like um not just one person doing everything, like making everything. Like you cut the fabric and it be, I believe that it goes to someone else to get assembled is that right yeah it's teamwork it's, it's teamwork, teamwork. I mean, yeah, it's a group to, to put the kits together and then you have a whole kit you take home to sew that's amazing i love the idea okay thank you so much and uh, so thank you again yuriko no problem. You, you're amazing i'm so <laughs> i'm i'm so inspired by you Honestly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So Bye -bye. We, again, we have 15 minutes break. And the next presentation is at 1230 Pacific time. That's Adrian of um, Han Nick Gorgeous Dolls. So I see you in 15 minutes. Just stay there. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. 